Hey, come on in. Let's get ready for bed. Well, hello, welcome to my bathroom. So the first thing I usually do is then I let my hair down. Which is gonna take a while because I got like thousand pins in there. But bear with me, okay? Well, in the meantime, let me tell you how my night went. I went on the day with this gorgeous boy. His name is Dylan. <laughs> All right, just gonna put it up in a little bun. First up is, I always start with the hardest, the strongest makeup, which is the eye. I'm using my Perfection Eye Makeup Remover by Giorgio Armani. <laughs> So I love this makeup remover because it's super oily, it's not super oily, but like the perfect amount. And it makes it easier to remove all, all the hard makeup, like black eyeliner, or in this case, my mascara. You see, it's already gone on the top. It's so easy. Before I would always just like rub my eye and they told me that it's actually not good and I should be gentle, even though it's faster when you rub it. You gotta just like soak it a little bit and then wipe it off and then it's much better for your eyes. You don't pull it too much so it doesn't get wrinkly. You don't get wrinkles that fast. My mom told me not to like pull my eyes so much because then I stretch the skin. And since then I'm very careful, even when people are not watching, I promise. I always remove my makeup before going to bed even when I'm really tired and like I just had a long flight or really just want to get in a hot bath or just want to jump into bed, I always remove my makeup first because if you're not wearing makeup, your skin can breathe during the night and can rest and you're gonna have gorgeous skin. Next step is that I'm gonna use this oily foaming cleanser all over my face to remove all the foundation and make sure my skin it's as clean as it can be. Put some water. Oh. I like to move my hands in circles, but I don't think it makes any difference. It's just, maybe it's all those years of modeling that I'm like, oh, this would shoot pretty. You can do like this if you want. <laughs> That took up the majority of the makeup. <laughs> Sometimes when I have like, you know, we would do a massive black eye or glitters, that's the worst. It could take like hours to actually remove it because like your eyes are one of your most sensitive part of your body. I, th I feel, I think maybe it's just my eyes, but you can see even now it's a little red. Now that my makeup is off, before I get into the cream, I like to use this, uh, I can never pronounce this, Aqua Pantaleria, which is kind of like a primer for your facial cream. Super easy, just do it like that. You tap it onto your skin. It's very calming and it smells amazing. Good friend and makeup artist also told me to always put the cream down to your neck so it so you age the same way your face and your neck, which makes sense, I guess. This is my favorite cream for the night because it has a very light texture and I really don't like to go to bed with a greasy skin. Like if you would leave the makeup on or like put oil on, I feel like you would get pimples, which as you can see, I don't have at all. Not even, this is not a pimple. So I'm using Cremonera by Giorgio Armani. It's the Supreme Reviving Cream. I'll just massage it into my face. Ooh. With a little help. This one. This is really, this feels so good. Before going to bed, it's like a little facial massage. I usually use this more in the morning because it helps you with like to deep puff if you had a long flight and brings out your cheekbones and your jawline, and it feels great. Sometimes I like put it in the freezer and like ice it, so then it's ice cold and it's even, like it, it's even better, like works even better, yeah. 
that should be it for my face. Oh, one very important thing. I'm a lip balm addict. So day and night, I think I, I can also like sleep with my lip balm. I put a lot. <laughs> my recent favorite one is the Neonude Ecstasy Balm. There you go. And I guess that's my nighttime routine. Now it's time to sleep. Thank you for watching.